Hey, what's up everyone? Dewey Black Cobra Cooper, video and live from the Roy Jones Jr.'s Fight Academy. I'm here with the professional figure, um, athlete, Larissa Reese. How are you today? Hey, how are you guys? Question, when did you decide to become a professional athlete? How long have you been doing it and what made you decide to come to the United States? Well, I started competing on bodybuilder figure shows in 2005 in Brazil. But before that, I did eight years jiu-jitsu. I was competing jiu-jitsu in Brazil for a long time, but I was very young. And then I become more girly and I want to <laughs> do figure and travel the world. So I came to America in 2007 because all the pro shows was in America. So that's why I decided to move. Um, so I'm here 10 years and I'm in the top of the shows in the world, traveling all over the world, inspiring people to work hard, work out. And now I just start my kickboxing class with Dewey and I'm so excited, I love it. Okay Larissa, so when you first came to America, it wasn't like most people would probably think. When you came from Brazil, you came here with the dream and very little money. Tell us about the inspirational story. Yeah, so I, I came here in 2005, you know, to, to, to learn English. First of all, I, I really was a big dream of mine to learn English, to speak English, so I can communicate with people from all over the world and also compete as a pro uh, with the best athletes in the world. So I, I got that and I'm so proud to, you know, 10 years I'm here. And I opened my own restaurant here in Las Vegas two years ago, and I have uh, several sponsors. And I still compete, not just often like used to be, because I'm really busy traveling. Uh, but I try to do two shows a year, you know, it's still, and uh, I always inspire people training and everything. Right on. So think about that, guys. She told me earlier she came here with only $500 and a dream, and she made that dream, you know, an incredible one. Yeah. She owns restaurants. She's world famous. She's, you know, critically acclaimed all over the world in her sport. But I work you hard, guys. I worked really hard. You know, it wasn't easy. I, I tried to give up a couple times, you know, it was really, really hard. But you know what? We, we have to keep going because that's life, you know. Life is a challenge and that's why I love sports, you know, because sport gives you that is trained inside, you know, that makes you, uh, your life easier for everything in life, you know? Yes, yes, great story. So, she does have a martial arts background. She trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, of course, she's from Brazil. And she also trained in Capoeira. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, it was a long, long time ago. I think I was like 14 years old. <laughs> I'm not gonna say my age, I'm sorry, I'm 35. <laughs> But it was a long, long, long time ago. You know, Brazil, uh, it's very common. We do capoeira, jiu-jitsu, it's, you know, it's, we have that everywhere there. And then I, I always love uh, martial arts, sports in general, you know. Okay, so you have so many followers on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I can't even keep up with all the social media outlets <laughs> out there. What do you want to say to the fans that, that show you support and that help motivate you to continue to be so great. What do you want to say to them? Well, as as much as they tell me that I inspire them, uh, so I want to say they inspire me to keep going, you know, because, you know, sometimes you're in a bad mood, a bad day, you know, and you get like a little message or a little present for a fan from far away think of you, you know, it's so awesome. They, we trade energy, you know, that's why I always say the world goes round. We always like empower each other, you know, that's what it is about. Yes, and all you guys who, who are critical, I, I see the post. The first day she kicks kicks yeah. kickbox with me, a lot of people were talking crap. Hey, go hang yourself, the haters, all the supporters, we love you, we appreciate it. I know. It's, it's just eight days. We we had like eight Eight class almost, you know, I never did kickboxing, so I'm, I'm trying to learn the technique, you know, to look perfect. I know I'm not perfect, but when I post, I always say, hey guys, I'm learning, 
and then people come back to bodybuilding yeah. it's like dude i'm i want to show the progress you know like everyone can make that you know yes. that's real so yes and guys we all know when you do something for the first time it takes time to get the muscle memory mm -hmm. the coordination and just the confidence to do it correctly so haters out there go kill yourself supporters we love you yes. now i want to switch to a, another tangent um ladies mma yeah. And I had the pleasure to meet my favorite MMA female fighters through you. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that. Um, you are very good friends with Chris Cyborg. Yeah. How long have you known her and how did you guys become friends? Uh, we become friends here in America, yeah. But we know each other since Brazil. I follow her since she was a shoot box for a long time. I don't know this girl. When she was, <laughs> <laughs> when she was uh, still dreaming there too, you know. So we all came in kind of the same time to America to pursue our dream. And uh, suddenly we talk with each other on Twitter, I guess, first time. And But we knew each other for a long time. I don't remember when it was. A couple of years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Three, four years ago. And then since then that we get to know each other, I become really more fan because she's a really true athlete and a, you know, she's so genuine, she's so like nice, you know, how you see like cyborg. She she's not like that at all. I think I'm more than her. Like <laughs> she's so sweet girl, she's so nice, she's so like she has a beautiful soul you know she's the nicest people that I know and and I support her I'm team cyborg forever hey. <laughs> well with no more delay here she is mrs. Chris cyborg how are you today I'm great thank you for a great training I'm so glad to be here in the, the gym the Roy Jonas and I say thank you for Larissa <laughs> and she's a very good friend of mine and she's teaching I learn every day with her she's a great person I try to help everybody and this is important no true friends are around and yeah and I'm glad to be here thank you for training I love it you are show me a couple of new things for me amazing I love learning thank you thank you so so yeah like I said I appreciate you Thank you. Uh, you know, introducing me to Cyborg. I met her a few times, but only hello at a fight and kept it moving. So, you know, like you said, the world goes around yeah. and good people always seem to uh, meet up Find at some point. Yeah, so I appreciate energy. that. Yeah, I appreciate true. that. So yeah. in closing, what would you like for the world to know about you that people may not know? And you want to thank any of your sponsors? Here's the time. Well, I'm training Kinky Box now, so maybe in next year, who knows? Oh, ah! Okay, I'll make 135 to find my place. I will fight for her, okay? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Thank you.